We've been hearing about Jenny Farley, aka JWoww from Jersey Shore, a lot in the past couple of months. She's been having some marital issues with her husband, Roger Matthews. Yeah, so to recap a bit, JWoww filed for divorce from Roger in September. That was after three years of marriage, and things were seeming civil until December. That's when she filed a restraining order after she and Roger got into a heated argument. Yeah, now, this is all very public. There were a bunch of Instagram posts. Roger claimed he called the police himself following the restraining order. Watch this. I called the police to preemptively get ahead of what I thought she was going to do. I got woken up at 2 o'clock in the morning by the police. She filed the restraining order. I'm not allowed to see my children. Not allowed to even text Jenny about my children. Now, if you what? remember, he had posted a lot of videos yeah. this night. And fast forward to Wednesday night, JWoww posted on her website some startling clips alleging that, you know, Roger was attacking her. And so. Yeah, in the video, Matthews can be seen shoving a woman, presumably Farley, to the ground in the kitchen. Harsh words were exchanged before the two walked away. It's really intense, and, and you know, obviously this is something you don't want to see happening. And prior to those clips, she actually posted part of a lengthy statement on her Instagram. It said in part, quote, I have spent the last few months trying to protect our children from public humiliation because as parents we're supposed to protect them. I wanted to uh, handle this out of the spotlight because our silence is their greater good. Even when you try to disgrace my name, make false accusations, and even point blank lie, I still remain silent as challenging as it is. Why? Because greater good. Yeah, that was her quote. Yeah, she also said this quote, she can no longer sit idly by while you mistreat and malign me in such an egregious manner. I mean, this whole thing is heartbreaking, especially when kids are involved and it's so public like this. When, when he, and they, yeah, these are all allegations, of course, and he when he went public with that video and started doing those sort of Instagram confessionals, I was like, uh-oh, this is oh, not yeah. going to end well. That kind of thing only intensifies uh, the situation. Back in December, Snooki, in a since deleted Instagram post, actually posted a clip of JWoww talking to the police saying that she didn't want Roger away from the children and that he's a good father. So misinformation here left and right. I mean, Snooki getting involved, I don't know if it was good or bad, but she's her yeah, friend. I mean, they're best friends, and this is all kind of happening in real time. So as soon as someone posts something on social media, then you want to fire back and then have your proof. So it's a lot of people just posting everything to kind of prove that their side is correct and the other person is in the wrong. Yeah. It's very messy. And the big question is what's going to happen moving forward with the marriage, with the kids. They're filming Jersey Shore Family Vacation. So I well, mean, I'm wondering if we're going to see that unfold on, on the, the show. I guess on the most surface and sort of the sh most shallow level of all of it, it's probably not bad for the show. I mean, no, you know what I not. mean? This kind of thing plays They've out. They've aired Dirty Laundry before on they the have, show, and right. that obviously brings viewers in. And the more scandal there is outside, the more people will watch. But as far as their family and their kids, that's where we land on the, the tough part. I mean, like, for their sanity, I feel like this should be kept in private. Yeah. It was rumored that Roger was uh, trying to get on the show to share his side of the story, by the way. So, yeah. I don't know. We'll, we hope they can figure things out for the sake of their kids, and we'll uh, keep you posted on all that.